Hey man, welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you again. It's always great to have you. I'm happy you're back. Um, let's get into it, shall we? So keeping a high quality woman interested in you is an entirely different conversation than attracting her in the first place. A lot of men struggle. A lot of men feel insecure in their ability to keep a woman interested and loyal. A lot of men have experienced cheating and disloyalty and a woman who they love leaving them and then being left not even with the answer or with the real reason as to what happened. There's a lot of superficial videos and tips and ways to improve yourself after a breakup, but I have not seen the real truth being discussed as to what actually happens. I'm going to tell you that exactly and of course the authentic masculine way and how to deal with it. And I choose my words very carefully here because I say high quality women, high quality, secure, feminine, soft, sweet, caring, loyal women, supportive. These kinds of women value very different things than uh, let's, let's say insecure women that are, are yet to find themselves, right? Often what these women are interested in is unpredictability and constant excitement. Uh, sometimes even drama and arguments and a lot of disloyalty and cheating is involved with this. And you guys here in the, in the masculine direction, we're not interested in that at all. I'm only going to discuss the dynamic with high quality women. And that's the only thing you should be interested in. Sustain your masculine energy and avoid marinating in her femininity. Let me explain. I'll start with an example. Often what happens in these relationships is men are very active, very powerful. They take a lot of initiative. They lead, all right? They're, they're very much in their masculine energy in the beginning during the seduction phase and probably even the first few months. But at some point when they start to feel very comfortable and spend a lot of time in her femininity, having sex, cuddling, um, all the support, the love, the feminine gift you're receiving, right? It takes away the edge of the man and slowly you become lazy, passive, oftentimes even irritable, right? And she starts to lose trust in you. She does not feel safe with you anymore because the leadership and the initiative, the masculine energy that she felt in the beginning with you, she's not seeing anymore. And that means that when she looks forward in the future, she is not so sure anymore if she wants to go with you where you are going. So, and this starts the process where she wants to test your masculinity, wants to feel that masculinity again. So she starts testing you. And as you're reactive and passive and irritable and lost that masculine energy, you fail these tests and arguments start happening and she confirms the truth that she can no longer trust you and this is where all the painful stuff happens right it, it is the it is the effect of you suppressing your masculine drive as you feel that you don't need it anymore and this is the sleeping lion effect right you just succeeded in a hunt and now you can sleep for three days right what you're doing is you didn't hunt before and you're going to sleep three days. The thing is you cannot afford that because it isn't fair to her and it isn't fair to yourself, most importantly. You are prioritizing the comfort you're getting from her feminine gift and it is your responsibility to balance that out. If you cannot balance that out, you are not ready for this level of women. You cannot lose your edge, you cannot lose that masculine fire that attracted her in the first place. Not just to keep the relationship going, but to fucking feel good, man. You absolutely need to keep prioritizing your own path and take her along with it. And we're not just talking about some, some unexplainable um, phenomenon where you lying in the, the arms of a woman makes you lazy and irritable and, um, and passive if you do it excessively. No, we're actually talking about your testosterone levels going down. You're no longer creating 
taking action, leading, doing these things in, in, in the seduction phase that actually made you feel like a man, right? That allowed you to fall in love with her. And you're not doing that anymore, so you're making yourself unhappy. So how can you expect a woman to remain interested in you? So how do you sustain your masculine energy and how do you avoid marinating in her femininity? Your purpose needs to be number one. Uh, never tell a woman this uh, because she wants to hear in words that she's number one, but she wants to see in action that the purpose is number one. And if you would be convinced by her and you would put your purpose, right, your work on second, she would lose attraction and trust in you. Um, this is just a topic that you shouldn't discuss with women because it's not going to work out. <laughs> so your purpose is number one in sustaining your masculine energy. Second is keep leading her, keep taking action, keep initiating, creating experiences, the things you are doing in the seduction phase to win her heart, to make her attracted to you. You need to keep doing those things even when you don't fucking feel like it, right? I'm talking about planning dates, you know, giving her only the time, telling her what to wear and to be at a certain place. You know, these mysterious dates create experiences, lead her, take action. You need to keep doing that, especially when you are not feeling like it. When she wants to do something in the evening, don't initiate to stay in. You need to be the active lion. You cannot be the sleepy lion. And this is just something you're gonna have to master, right? Especially when you uh, spend a night with her watching a movie or whatever, and you are really affectionate, right? And you're, you're cuddling a lot and it's all lovey-dovey. The day after, you're gonna feel less powerful. Her feminine gift will take your edge off and you cannot afford that. So I'm not telling you to fucking avoid it at all, but I'm telling you that if you spend a day like that, you know, lovey dovey shit, and then the day after, what do you, how do you think you're going to wake up more powerful or less powerful? Of course, you're going to be a bit lower in your energy. And that's when you need to switch. That's when you say, fuck, now I need to go get up at seven and get to the gym before she's up. Now I need to make her a breakfast and surprise her with some, you know, some action I put in. You cannot stay in bed longer than her. You cannot let her um, have to step up and lead you to the fucking supermarket. You know, like you need to fight right back into that feeling. Say, okay, I've enjoyed that softness. I've enjoyed that feminine gift. And now I'm going to switch back to my masculine. If you cannot balance that out and if you cannot sustain your masculine energy while also embracing her femininity if you cannot keep that in balance then the relationship will go downhill it will start a downward spiral that i described in the beginning of the video the feminine gift is a beautiful thing it's amazing to have in your life and it needs to be balanced out with your masculine energy if you cannot do that then maybe you're not ready for that yet I've made you aware of the fact that especially when you feel keeping in that passive kind of state, that's exactly when you need to switch the button back to the masculine. You can enjoy your femininity only if you can sustain your masculinity. That's the only way you can keep a high quality woman without ever having to stress about her cheating or whatever. And that's it. See you in the next video.